Can you shimmy? People that shimmy have awesome body mobility that can like properly shimmy, but I can't. <laughs> yeah. Is this shimmy? <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> um, sending me the screen checks. Hola muchachos, welcome to the channel. Today we're with Kieran. Welcome here. I went on to my Instagram and asked you guys some questions to send us for us to answer. If you have yet to follow me on Instagram, do so. Kieran, Kieran has been taking nice photos of me. Like, nice photos. You made me look good. Thank you. I'm just trying to tell the truth. <laughs> oh, thank you. Looking forward to looking at your guys' questions and answering them. And on top of that, y'all should be very thankful that we're gonna go throughout this whole video without talking about how we almost divorced each other. I just, I wanna say this, and I say this in a lot of ways in love, but also in just such direct seriousness that divorce should not be something that we put into the titles of our videos in order to get clicks. Divorce is real and divorce hurts people and to put divorce into certain videos and thumbnails and clips or try to work it into a video so you can talk about it and make it kind of clickbait. It's, it's just not a good idea and I feel like it belittles the whole kind of divorce thing and what a lot of people actually go through. So please, if you're a YouTuber, just be so careful with how you title your videos, specifically when it's when it's about divorce. Yeah, you can talk about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can but... talk about it because there has been people that actually have gone through those kind of issues where divorce was brought up, but there's some people that just go, we're doing a q and so let's throw the word divorce in to the title and it'll make people click on it I just think it's really insensitive especially to a lot of kids that have parents that go through a divorce and people going through a divorce themselves I just I'm just gonna be your mom right now guys, please just be careful But without further ado and I'm done being a mom. Let's go ahead and check out You're done these. Being a mom. I'm done. I'm done <laughs> No, like to them. I'll continue to mother your children, but I'm done being a mom to them. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but if you're not drinking a drink, go ahead and drink one, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Me and Kieran are hosting a little bit of a giveaway because we like to pop in and just put some secret little giveaways in here. So what you guys have to do is go back to my yoga challenge video. I will put the link down below. I love when you stare at me like this. <laughs> in that video, leave a comment of, what should we do, the fire emoji? Leave this emoji down below in the comment section of our couples yoga challenge and you will be entered to win a bunch of goodies. Can you say latte mixes, special skincare stuff? It's coming for you, but you gotta go ahead, check the link down below, the yoga challenge, fire emoji. And the contest runs for one week of this video being uploaded. How'd you like it? It's great. Yeah. It's delicious. I made reishi hot chocolate. By made, I mean I took the powder out of the bag. <laughs> Do you wish you waited to have kids and had more time together? No. Kids made me grow up and I needed to grow up faster than I was. We say that a lot and I felt like every single kid that we brought into the world, I guess, we grew up a little bit more. Just the amount of responsibility that was suddenly on us. Mm -hmm. kind of forced to grow up. If anything, I wish we traveled more before kids, but also before kids, we didn't have the money to travel. So we we're kind of like, let's have kids. Let's be young kind of parents with our kids out of the house and then we can travel by the time that we hopefully have a little bit more money. So we have lots to look forward to. How long did it take for you to feel comfortable and confident in the bedroom as a newlywed? Still working like, on some of that. Is that is that a me and you question? Or I think a, it's a both of us. Both of us Honestly, yeah. I just wanted to that, that's direct a me it and to you. you. That's a me and you question. <laughs> <laughs> that's something you can just continually struggle with. I think especially because we've had kids and we've gone through a lot of physical change, both of us. Not just a pregnant woman goes through a lot of physical change, a guy can too. And yeah, it can take some time to kind of work back some confidence or feeling comfortable. Totally, there's definitely, there's definitely a level of comfort that comes with experience. Um, yeah. And that's something that's been that's been honestly uh, a huge part of our intimate life is that we've been working on that, just being comfortable with each other. Mm -hmm. And and so at first, I 
personally wasn't uncomfortable because... I'm pretty excited. I was pretty darn excited. <laughs> like most guys. Can you go more into that? <laughs> <laughs> like most guys are, but at the same time, I think with time and realizing and communication, communication is key, especially even during um, yeah, what what's comfortable, what's not comfortable. Yep. And I think at first we didn't talk a lot about it. It was just kind no, of... No, we just didn't. And it was bad. And we were like, no, this seems right, and it wasn't right. And it wasn't... <laughs> it was like... <laughs> Yeah, we definitely had struggles, mm -hmm. but uh, but that's something that we get to work together with, yeah, uh, with each other on, and that's what that's makes it awesome. That makes it awesome and and super fantastic. Okay, this person says I'm 23, married at 20. I struggle with old friends distancing because I'm in a different life stage. Did you? Definitely. Definitely. We we went from engaged to being married to being newlyweds and having a child like within a year and a half. Mm -hmm. It it happened very quickly. And um, you do feel that. Yeah. You do feel a bit of a disconnect. Yeah, and we were the first among our peers to to do so. And we didn't have a lot of peers in general. We came from a small ish community. So yeah, that was weird. There are definitely older couples and older by like four or five years or whatever. So there's lots of young couples that we're still engaged with part of and yeah. raising children and being married. But they were they were they were married for a couple of years before we got married mm -hmm. and they had kids for a couple of years before we had kids, right? So and we were I, kind of in between. I felt phases. like that that distance didn't happen until we had kids. You know, like when we were first early married, even when I was yeah. pregnant with Ivy, we could still go out, we could still do things and we were with mm. people and nothing stopped us from having to be home at a certain time or nap yeah. time or, or or something like that, where that's what Ivy brought to the table. Mm. And we had to work our relationships differently. And some of them stayed and have stayed strong. And then some of them, it's just, they've kind of gone or they've kind of left. And I don't know, I, I personally, I don't feel a loss of certain relationships because the ones that I really love and hold dear, I still hold to this day. Yeah, definitely. You know? There's, yeah, absolutely. Your, your relationships or your friends' relationships are, are huge, hugely important to maintain. For your sake. Yeah, for your, exactly. For your sake. Yeah. And, and, and that's something that's super valuable if you can maintain those throughout your years. What is your favorite memory of your wedding? Walking back down the aisle. Yeah, that was fun. Grinning, we're um, walking down. Yeah, just yeah. happy-go-lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah. a good one. That's a, that's a great feeling. Favorite memory of my wedding? You know what? You and your dad. <laughs> it was, it was I'm sorry. <laughs> it was obviously me and my dad. And where we got married, the kind of sanctuary was down below. And me and my bridesmaids and my dad, we were all up in this like other balcony that's all sealed off. And we had these curtains drawn, these white curtains, and we could just see through. And dad took me aside to another room, which was actually a nursery because it was in a church. And he prayed over me. And I could see Kieran and his groomsmen um, getting makeup put on by my sister. And Rachel's running after them with makeup brushes. And dad's praying over me. And I'm kind of squinting my eyes. And I'm looking at Kieran. I just, I loved that. Like, that is something where I fully remember it. There's not a picture. There's nothing to actually. Hard evidence. There's no evidence. It's yeah. all in my brain. And mm. that's, that was my favorite. Okay. Favorite date night in ideas after kiddos are in bed. Say it. Say it. Say it. Skip the dishes. And. That's been a revelation. Games, we really like dominoes. If you can get pre-made food to go get or whatever, and get it at you. your house. And then a lot of the time, like we'll turn on something and then we turn it off and we just like talk yeah. or Kieran rubs my feet or, and it's just, it's just being together, right? Mm. It's being together and laughing together. We laugh, Kieran laughs so much, which makes me laugh so much. And then we really enjoy food. Like we'll, we'll smell it and be like, wow. Like, we're weird about it. I love it. It's nice. Now that Kieran is home, how do you split up household chores and your YouTube business? I get this question a lot, same, actually. Same as normal. Yep. It's, marriage is a 100% plus 100% effort. Yeah. I give my 100%. Sarah I give gives my her 100%. 100%. We're, we're, not, we're not great. I, would, I won't say routine people, oh. but we're not, we're, we're not great structure people. You just said we're not great. We're and not then you start out saying... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not great. We don't have a chore list where these are Kieran's no, and those are Sarah's. We see what needs to be done and we do. If anything, mm. I do laundry. And the reason why is because I know the materials, I know the fabrics, I know I what gets everything. hung, I know what gets <laughs> put in the dryer. Like, I know that. I have a magic wand. 
And it just... I wave it and everything shrinks. If I know Kieran's going to be working in the morning, you know, I got this. I'm going to do dishes. I'm going to get everything clean. I'm going to get the kids dressed. I got this. But no, there, there's definitely couples that the guy does the dishes and the girl does dinner or whatever. And you know what? It's just, if, if we see a need, we fulfill that need. Yeah. That's and if and if that works for you, and we've, we've been recommended that's that. that's awesome. As well. Right? That's awesome. Um, but we, we realize that's, a, that's something that it it's nice. I, it I have a hard time with. Like, I can't. <laughs> so knows this. I can't eat the same thing for breakfast like more than two days in a row. Yeah, oh, he no. got really mad about Taco Tuesday on like week three, or two. and then or week two. Yeah. And no, it was pancakes on Saturday mornings at week three. Yeah. I was like, this is the most special thing. Like every day of our lives, I will make us pancakes on I, Saturday I, morning. I, <laughs> and Kieran was like furious <laughs> this is the third I week made, in a row we've had pancakes i made them on into Saturday hearts <laughs> on the third week and he still wouldn't eat them kieran uh, likes variety i like variety it's so variety. that's why that's why it's hard to it's hard for me to do structure yeah so if we, i had my chores and she had her chores it'd be kind of whatever but our, our structure we don't have a hour by hour structure but it's mm -hmm. kind of throughout the day there's certain events that just they'll happen and around those events we work through different works, chores, whatever. Even better one. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you debt free? But the a lot of people ask so, this, and the reason why is because a lot of people have student loans. A have, lot of people we have, have a mortgage. We have a mortgage. Credit card debt. debt. Yeah, we don't have we don't have any of the debts. We have a mortgage. Just our mortgage. It. We haven't no taken car out. loans. No. No credit card debt. We've talked about this before, but that's the only debt we want to have. Uh, if we're gonna buy a flipping brand new vehicle, we're gonna pay full price. We will not lease it. Or even if it's just 0%, because there's always extra costs, we just, we want to be careful with how we spend our money and where we give our money. And for us, like our mortgage is a good. <laughs> Did you hear that? A good. <laughs> it's hard to say. Mortgage and good in the same sentence. Our, our mortgage. The diametrically opposed. <laughs> it is such it's a not... nice debt. I feel like we need to turn it up. Is it too dark? Are we out of the focus this whole time? What is the focus setting on? Oh, we're not out of focus. We're in focus. Focus, focus. Should we turn it up? Is it too dark? Back to our regular our... scheduled program. <clears throat> in our housing market, like where we live, it's difficult to get a mortgage even. So that's why yeah. we call it a good debt and that we've been able to Fair. achieve a mortgage. That being said, We're on mortgage, the west coast of Canada. We are yes. so excited to get rid of it. <laughs> oh yeah. Right? It's not like it's, we want to hold on to it. It's not something that we're and that's not something that we're we're going back into equity or something like that. We like being debt free and we recommend that for everybody. If it's achievable, do it. Do it. Are you each other's first boyfriend, girlfriend, star eyes, sweating, smiley face? Sweating? Yeah, look, he's sweating. I, don't, I never understand that. I guess it's sweating. It's raining? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yes, we were each other's first boyfriend and girlfriend. We were not each other's first crushes. A lot of people think like I was Kieran's only and Kieran was mine. No, I probably honestly liked at least 400 guys before like Kieran. I think there was, there was one or two girls. Before, <laughs> before I, just, I, loved, I loved guys. And there wasn't even any guy that I looked at and I went, I like you because of that. It was just like, you're a guy, so I like you. And then when Kieran <laughs> came around, I was like, oh, he's different. After these 400 guys, I can tell Kieran's really different. <laughs> if you had to choose one meal to eat for the rest of your life, what would your meal be? Speaking, I know. Speaking of not liking. Pancakes, uh, Kieran, just say it. Pancakes. <laughs> Burgers. Take your time. I know you will. Curry. Daco. Burrito. One meal for the rest of my life. That Kieran, like, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> you don't... This isn't legit. You can eat whatever you want for the rest of your life. This is just hypothetical. <laughs> for me, it's burgers. I know right away. Bacon, eggs, and toast. Totally. She doesn't believe me. <laughs> can you sit up a little bit? Because I look taller than you. What kind of church do you go to? What do they specifically believe in? We go to a Bible church. That is literally the title of our church. It's a Bible church. We believe in the Bible. We don't believe just in the Bible. <laughs> we believe that the Bible is the Lord's word. The less you edit it, the less you add to it. Um, the less in a, you in a do way, to it the to better, make yourself feel comfortable. Right? And that's pretty much our main standby. So we do baptism and we do Lord's Supper. Adult baptism. You could yeah. Say. How long have you guys been married? Over five years. I'm madly confused about this question because it says also what? second favorite animal. Also second favorite animal. Yeah, but I think we should say our second favorite animal <laughs> because they wrote this wrong. <laughs>
<laughs> my second favorite animal is. Favorite What's my animal. second favorite animal? <laughs> elephant and elephant. What's your second favorite animal? Probably a tiger. Oh, really? I guess. Was it love at first sight for you guys? No. No, because we were about four. <laughs> Were you yeah, gonna say first sight? <laughs> first sight, about four. Yeah. Yes, I do believe in love at first sight because Romeo and Juliet was inspired by true events. Does your husband ever feel like you share too much on social media? We did just share a single favorite animal. <laughs> no, because I usually have input on what she's putting out there. So the things. And that I'm, I'm a very private person. And the things that I'm uncomfortable with, I'll let her know, and mm -hmm. she doesn't put it out. And I think that's awesome. Okay, this is our last question. Oh no. We need to take this even more seriously than the second animal question. <laughs> what did you do in your childhood years as fun or hobbies, Sarah and Kieran? Three hobbies you did as a kid growing up. Three? Three, yeah. They asked for three? No, but I did. Here's I... your questions. And then Sarah's like, hmm, what can I'm I make this? I'm edit those. <laughs> how, how, how much harder can I make this? <laughs> three. I did crafts, lots of crafts. Sewing, sticking, gluing things together, painting. I loved crafty things. I still love crafty things. Turn. Reading. Read. I read my mm. eyeballs off okay. repeatedly. <laughs> Can you say that again? <laughs> Reading. I read my eyeballs off. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. Is that what you said the first time? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought you said. I thought you said. I read my <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I would probably say second one for me. Same. Reading. I read a lot. Thief. Lots. She's a thief. You know what my second favorite activity <laughs> is? Growing up was crafts, arts and crafts. I loved arts and crafts. <laughs> Did you? No. no. <laughs> just stealing your There's first one. So <laughs> As a kid growing up, probably bike rides. So just being outside. Oh. I grew up, grew up on a hobby farm. Mm -hmm. We had trees. We climbed trees like crazy. And we had tall trees. We had like 50, I was going to say trees. tree climbing for my last one. I can't steal it. Me and my friends used to go into their basement, close all the doors, and blast Jump 5 and Zoe Girl, and we would dance like we were in a music video. And and I knew, <laughs> and I, I knew, well I know now that I feel like this is we a probably <laughs> look like fools, but in that moment I thought like everyone's wanna, gonna want to be like me. Everyone, and I thought these these girls can't dance like me. Like, I need to be a part of Jump 5 and they can rename it Jump 6. I was like determined to be amazing. <laughs> and I wore these red bell bottom pants that had bedazzled stars up the leg. <laughs> what was your third favorite activity? Things I wish I didn't know. <laughs> really? That gave you insight. Oh, it's true. It's true. I shouldn't be cruel. Reading and playing outside takes a lot of time. You seem to like oatmeal. <laughs> Eating oatmeal is not a hobby. <laughs> we can make it one. Thank you guys for being here and watching today. <laughs> playing piano, but I would, I wasn't good with my lessons. I was never good with my lessons when I was young. But when I when I liked a song, I was really good. It was amazing. It was fantastic. Everybody loved it. You just don't like being forced to do stuff. Yeah. You're like just deep. like everybody else. Yeah, I was gonna say. There was this time where Ivy was being potty trained and you had to run from, she was on the potty and you had to run from her because I think it was a phone call or something. You were like, Sarah, go wipe Ivy's bum. She's on the toilet. And I naturally was like, how dare you tell me what to do? Like I actually thought like that. And then I was like, what am I doing? So I wiped Ivy's bum. And she said, thank you, mama. Yeah. That's I great. I still think of that. That's human nature. Yeah. If yeah. you tell me to do something. Especially wiping someone's bum. That's different. That's different. That's Sorry. different. Okay, ready? Can you guess what I did before we started recording? What? <gasps> Is this a game? I did oh, something. Oh frick! That's a fourth favorite one. I loved games. I still do. <laughs> what was what was I did, it? I did something. You did something. I did something. What was it? You smiled. Is it to the house? But I stole something of yours. You're kidding. It was a very small something. What is it? My heart. No, before the video, while I was recording. What? Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> How could you? <laughs> what was it? <gasps> you took some of my drink? Yeah. I when? Because it's so good. When? On the very, at the very, very start. <gasps> Let's roll. Is put, that on? That. Is that here? Yeah, yeah it okay. should be. I don't know if I want to watch this. <laughs> I, and I knew it. Yeah, you <laughs> no, knew it. I, didn't, I had no idea. 
Okay. Just wondering. They're great questions. They were good, good, solid questions. Thank you, everybody who sent in questions. That always helps. I usually get like four or five hundred questions within a few hours. So I hope mm -hmm. you guys like that. And I feel like we should do more Q and A's. Thank you guys very much for watching and for being here. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also the thumbs up, that always helps. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye. I did not wait. <laughs>